back to me something that doesn't make any sense, I'll explain it to them molecularly. Well, you sound but, very educated on this, Joseph, and I want to get you as a guest on the Nightly News next week so you can really flesh this out maybe for three or four segments. I mean, we'll give you like 30 minutes where you can just lay your research out that you've done as a layperson because I want people to know that they can also do this type of research and find out this information and they're not, uh, they don't have to just listen to the authority figures to where they get their health information. Could I, could I tell my show that I actually started for the case of, of uh, being an alertist, an alarmist to try to inform people? Sure, we plug your show, show go called, ahead. Yeah, where does your show we, air? We started a show called, our show is, uh, it's on the net. It's on Cave Radio uh, Broadcasting.com. It's C A V E Radio Broadcasting.com. The name of our show is Freedom Works. Freedom and then Works is W O R X. But Freedom Works on Cave Radio Broadcasting, we do it every Sunday from 2 to 5. We talk about vaccine injuries and the vaccine protocol and how allopathic medicine is nothing but legalized eugenics. And we explain, uh, you know, all of what we, we know. And then yeah. we're also open for input from anybody else that may have a correction if we're not going the right way. Sure. Because I'm an electrician by trade. Right, right. I'm not a doctor. And that's how this is. You know, we all have to do our own research because it's our responsibility to look out for our kids. It's not the doctor's responsibility. It's not the healthcare industry's responsibility. Their responsibility is to make money for their shareholders. That's what their responsibility is. So they don't have any responsibility to the actual health of our children. They may tell you that in ads. But as we just played that one ad that Darren McBreen voiced, that's not what happens. They, they don't really care about the health of your kid. Joe, we're going to run, but we're going to be talking to you very soon. And all you ISIS people threatening us, hey, we're not a French newspaper, okay? We got people that have taken your asses out in this building right now. We're armed to the teeth, and we're not scared. You got that, you sons of bitches? This is Texas. You want to threaten me, you can go straight to hell. You understand that? Never water yourself down just because someone can't handle you at 100 proof. It's the Alex Jones Show, because there's a war on for your mind. Another major health threat, this one in Toledo, Ohio, where everybody in the entire city has been told not to drink the water. Ohio's governor declaring a state of emergency. Did you know that the average person uses about 80 to 100 gallons of water at home every single day? If there's a water emergency, will you be prepared? Panicked residents forming long lines throughout the day. We're well, here at a supermarket in Toledo. You can see the shelves empty where water once was. To stay safe and healthy during a crisis, you must must have access to safe, clean water. Water which will not be available at your local grocery store. There's a mad dash on right now to stock up on supplies. The ProPure Pro 1 G2.0 water filtration system is a must have for every modern, independently minded household. Protect your family's safety during an emergency. Go to InfoWarsStore.com today to purchase your ProPure Pro 1 G2.0 water filtration system or call 1-88-253-3139. Hi, I'm Shane Steiner. A lot of you have been following my progress using Supermail Vitality. The last 19 weeks has been an incredible experience. I was feeling a little down and lethargic during the holidays, and none of the supplements that I was taking were doing any good. That's when my longtime friend from high school, Alex Jones, introduced me to Supermail Vitality. I was a little skeptical at first. Not only would I have the energy to work out and go to the gym, but it, it was actually the changes were happening to my body. Uh, a lot more rapidly. My whole mood, my libido, everything had completely changed. The concentrated organic herbs, they stimulate your natural systems to produce the natural hormones that you need. I just really wanted to, to bulk up and hit it hard and I went in for about the first five weeks and was lifting heavy weight and just really hitting it hard and I gained 20 pounds of muscle immediately. Since that, I've decided I was going to lose some weight and slim down. I just changed up my workout a little bit and 35 pounds came off. Folks, this is not a joke. This is not a gimmick. It's real. Super Male Vitality. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. 
Introducing Secret 12, the new InfoWars Life Vitamin B12 formulation. Most forms of vitamin B12 are highly processed and synthetic and could not be properly absorbed by the body. That's why for real results, so many are having to turn to painful B12 injections, which are known to have higher absorption rates. Now, InfoWarsLife.com is excited to announce that we can bring you our most bioactive, powerful form of B12 that has been developed with our exclusive perfected process. Secret 12 is a binary of nutramedical grade bioavailable coenzyme forms of B12, methylcobalamin, the same kind used in B12 injections, and adenosylcobalamin. Secret 12 is simply taken by mouth, right on the tongue, and then swallowed. No needles, no injections. Don't take my word for it. Try it for yourself. Discover the secret. Secret 12. Secure your revolutionary Secret 12 formula right now at InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. Our world is becoming more and more toxic each and every day. But it's not just the air outside that's toxic. Indoor air has been shown to have two to five times higher concentrations of pollutants than even outdoor air. And most Americans spend 90% of their time inside using toxic chemicals within their homes. There are more than 42 million smokers in the United States. Well over a thousand types of mold and mildew linked to numerous conditions. And don't forget the fact that six million Americans live with pets they're allergic to as well. When I began to research these statistics, it was clear to me it was time to start cleansing my lungs in order to combat the toxic environment that we cannot escape but that we can fight back against. Made with organic and wild cultivated herbs and manufactured in the USA, the new InfoWars Life Lung Cleanse is here in a convenient spray bottle that can be brought with you throughout any toxic environment. Now available exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. <laughs> We're going to go back to your calls here in a second as well. Um, and I'm also going to show you how they're lying to you about the DTaP vaccine, which our caller Joseph was just talking about. His sister got it and has cerebral palsy, autism. Uh, there's one other, uh, one other condition that she is suffering. And I mean, that's, and now they want to give it to pregnant women. So I'm going to tell you how they lie to you about that. But first, one thing to do, you can do to protect your health is the use of colloidal silver. That's one thing I use personally on a regular basis. If I'm starting, if I'm getting a sore throat, I feel bad, gargle a little bit of colloidal silver and swallow it. So you can get it at InfoWarsLife.com because the medical paradigm out there isn't really interested in helping you. They're interested in profits. Now here I want to go to this Daily Mail article and then we're going to get back to Joseph. Pregnant women urged to have whooping cough vaccine after cases of disease rose 24% in one year. So pregnant women are being urged to have whooping cough vaccine after figures show an increase in the number of cases. Experts believe women uh, women are put off having injections during pregnancy as they fear they might have negative side effects on their unborn children. But, uh, of course, officials are saying we can provide reassurance that the whooping cough vaccine is safe to use for use during pregnancy with no known adverse side effects for the mother or baby. Let me say it right there, right under uh, the picture with the guy with the needle. You can read that where they, they just say it right there. It's, it's totally okay. We've got... Now let's look at three inserts of three whooping cough vaccines. It's also called pertussis for those of you out there who don't know it. We're going to look at the Inferix. This is, and this is an insert that I just went online and found. So there's Inferix. You can see acellular pertussis. That's one of the vaccines in there. It's diphtheria, tetanus, and pertussis all in one. Yay. Uh, section 8, pregnancy. So let's go to Section 8. Let's go see what they say in Section 8 here. Um, and use in specific populations, pregnancy. Animal reproduction studies have not been conducted with Inferix. It is also not known whether Inferix can cause fetal harm when administered to a pregnant woman or can affect reproduction capacity. Well, they just say it right there. And then pediatric use, safety and effectiveness of Inferix in infants younger than six weeks of age and children seven to 16 years of age have not been established. Inferix is not approved for use in these age groups, yet they want you to give it to pregnant women. And they haven't even tested it, and they admit it in the insert. That's why I say hashtag read the damn insert. Let's look at the next one. This is from uh, Dap Daptasil. This is from, uh, I think this is from Pasture. The other one was from GlaxoSmithKline. So they also have a Section 8 on pregnancy. And you can do this. Just type in vaccine inserts, and you can go pick out which ones you want to look at. It's very easy to do. This is a little smaller. But same thing, pregnancy category C. Animal reproduction studies have not been conducted with Daptasil. Vaccine. It is also not known whether Daptacil vaccine can cause fetal harm when administered to a pregnant woman or affect reproductive capacity. It is not approved for infants below six years of age and children seven years of age or older. They just admit it right there. All right. And here's an actual vaccine insert. 
And this is, uh, I think this has seven different vaccines and it's called Pentacil. And once again, you open it up. Pregnancy, animal reproduction studies have not been conducted with the Pentacil vaccine. It is not known whether Pentacil vaccine can cause harm when administered to a pregnant woman or affect reproduction capacity. Pentacil vaccine is not approved for use of women of childbearing age. So they don't even want women of childbearing age to take this vaccine, yet they're pushing it in this article from Daily Mail. And Z in Florida, what is your vaccine story? Um, I, uh, I have three uh, grandchildren that was uh, um, uh, given those shots. And, and uh, uh, before they were given the shots, they were kind of like happy and playful. And now, now they just kind of like sit around. But uh, they're, they're different ages. One is 14, one is uh, 10, and the other one is 5. And uh, so, uh, but but I'd, I'd like to share with you um, uh, something that might be helpful to everyone concerned about that because um, two or three days, maybe before the child gets ready to take those shots, if you would start giving them activated charcoal, uh, uh, activated charcoal, and the minute that thing hit their bodies, it will be drawn straight out through the charcoal. And uh, that would be something for everyone who uh, is afraid uh, to stand up to the government or, you know, those that uh, are uh, have this uh, law going on, which is not a law. We know it's not a law because I read it myself where, and I sent it to my son-in-law, but he just, chose to ignore it and have all the children vaccinated. So that was not a very good choice for him to make. But I just want to share with uh, others, if I had known when he was going to take them to, to get shots or anything like that, I would have had uh, slurry, uh, charcoal and water, have him drink it down several couple days, maybe before. And when they when they take that shot, it would draw it straight out of their bodies without... Yeah. Uh, appreciate that, Z. Appreciate that bit of information. That you know, it's amazing. Activated charcoal, baking soda, hydrogen peroxide are all things that are very inexpensive to buy that also have amazing health benefits. And I encourage you to do the research on that. Thank you very much for that story, Z. I'm sorry that your uh, grandkids had to go through the full vaccination schedule. Doesn't sound pleasant. Sylvia in California, uh, what is your vaccine story? Okay, um, back in the '60s, as you know, the vaccines weren't near as bad as what they have now. And uh, I had to have some vaccines for school, plus we were going to go overseas to Europe to visit my mom's relatives. And the doctor gave us these shots. And the next day, I was um, standing on this brick, like, bench around a tree, and I was, everything in the world was spinning, and I passed out. My mother's reaction, she ended up in the hospital. So we had an Asian doctor. He tested us, and he said we're allergic to the preservatives used in vaccines and advised us not to have any vaccines, especially flu vaccines. So all these years, I haven't had to have any vaccines. When the uh, um, swine flu came out in 76, we just sweat it. We just um, got under a bunch of blankets and did stuff to try and sweat the, the virus, whatever it was, out of us, you know? Mm -hmm. And we was only sick three days. But now I'm scared because they're passing all these laws in California wanting to force people to have vaccines. And, you know, there's all kinds of situations. What if you have to go to the hospital? Yeah. What if um, what if there's just some situation where you have to be in a place where there's groups of people and they want to require you to have shots there? What about all these different situations? What are people like us going to do? People are going to have to stand up. People are going to have to stand up and take action in a, in a peaceful, lawful way, but just stand firm and say no. I mean, you, you can't let people put stuff in your body. It's criminal to let people do that and to force that on you. And I, I applaud you for that. Like, you've known this for a long time. There's a lot of people out there that don't know. There's a lot of people that don't know that when you get some of these shots, you shed the virus for weeks at a time, especially the measles. That's why a lot of people were getting measles and transferring it in this Disneyland thing. We're already vaccinated because they were actually shedding the virus, getting other people sick. So thank you for that, Sylvia. Now we got James in California. Go ahead. Yeah, hi. Thanks, gentlemen, for having me on today. Mm -hmm. uh, wonderful show. Great topic. Uh, my experience was my son, uh, he's five now. Um, during uh, delivery, my wife and I obviously were in the hospital. And, uh, you know, this is 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. 
uh, extremely tired, extremely stressed. And when they're ready to, you know, shoot your kid up with these things, it's just before they even ask you, they got these needles out and they're just ready to stick them. I mean, it was, uh, I mean, I still wake up in the middle of the night and, um, just freaked out thinking something's going to go wrong. Um, but luckily we haven't experienced any difficulties yet with our son. He's 